Dear distinguished professors and colleagues. Good day. My name is Jiang Huan from the School of Psychology at Beijing Language and Culture University. I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to the organizers of the Virtual Conference on Computational Audiology, VCCA, for hosting this event and providing me the opportunity to present our research progress. Today, I will share our study titled The Effect of Physical Exercise Combined with Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation on the Temporal Fine Structure Sensitivity. Sound signals are decomposed into temporal fine structure, TFS, and envelope, ENV, components through filtering. The envelope represents the slow varying energy fluctuations of speech, containing information such as rhythm and syllable boundaries. In contrast, the temporal fine structure is the fast varying component representing the spectral elements of speech and including details such as intonation and formants. Extensive research has shown that TFS is crucial for sound localization and speech perception, providing essential cues for understanding speech in noisy environments. However, with aging and hearing decline, the ability to process TFS undergoes irreversible degradation, severely affecting speech comprehension in individuals with hearing impairments. Although hearing assistive devices, such as cochlear implants, have rapidly advanced, helping some individuals hear external sounds, they primarily amplify sound signals, often sacrificing the temporal fine structure components to some extent. Therefore, exploring methods to improve TFS sensitivity is essential. In recent years, transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS, has emerged as a non invasive, non intrusive neuroregulation therapy. It uses constant, low-intensity direct current, 1 to 2 mA, to modulate brain neuron activity, alter synaptic plasticity, and regulate local cortical and network connectivity, thereby exerting therapeutic effects. Studies have indicated that TDCS intervention can enhance auditory processing temporal resolution, speech perception and noise, and short-term auditory verbal memory in children with reading disabilities. Physical exercise, known to modulate brain plasticity, can improve processing speed, attention, executive function, and memory. Exercise, as a long-term effective method to promote overall brain health and cognitive function, has potential impacts on auditory cognitive abilities, including TFS sensitivity. A 2022 study found that compared to non-athletes, athletes exhibit stronger sound encoding abilities and are better at distinguishing important sound information. This raises the question, does exercise promote TFS processing? Considering the short-term and long-term effects of TDCS and physical exercise on the brain, this study aims to explore whether combining the two can improve TFS sensitivity. We seek to understand the connections between cross-motor sensory areas and cross-cortical regions and their neural and physiological mechanisms. This research intends to provide guidance for improving hearing assistive devices and developing new cognitive and auditory rehabilitation methods. We recruited 41 participants and measured their hearing thresholds before the experiment to ensure their average hearing threshold did not exceed 20 dB, with the threshold difference between both ears not exceeding 15 dB. Participants' TFS ability was assessed using hearing software developed by Moore et al and their exercise levels were evaluated using the physical activity rating scale. Participants were then randomly assigned to either an Onodal TDCS intervention group or a sham stimulation group, and the TFS tests were re-administered. The TFS-LF test, binaural, and TFS-1 test, monaural, both use a two-down-one-up adaptive rule, where lower results indicate better performance. Participants' exercise conditions were surveyed based on the physical activity rating scale compiled by Leon De Ching, classifying them into three groups according to their exercise intensity, duration, and frequency. Using a high-precision TDCS setup, we performed onodal TDCS intervention on participants' primary motor cortex, M1, with cathode electrodes placed around it. For onodal stimulation, the current was ramped up to 1 mA over 30 seconds maintained at this level for 20 minutes, and then ramped off over 30 seconds. For sham stimulation, the current was ramped up to 1 mA over 30 seconds and immediately ramped off over 30 seconds. Our results indicated that both exercise and TDCS intervention promoted TFS processing. Participants with exercise scores over 19 were categorized as having high exercise volume 
and those below 19 as having low exercise volume. Graphical analysis showed significant improvement in TFSLF test scores after onodal TDCS intervention under both high and low exercise volumes, with a more pronounced improvement at higher exercise volumes, indicating a significant interaction. This suggests a potential synergistic effect of combined TDCS and exercise intervention on auditory cognitive ability. However, no significant effect was observed in the sham stimulation group, suggesting that the mechanism by which exercise training influences auditory cognitive ability may be more complex. Further analysis indicated that only under high exercise volume did TDCS intervention significantly improve TFS test scores. This suggests that TDCS intervention and exercise training have a complex impact on auditory cognitive processing ability, requiring further exploration and understanding of their underlying mechanisms. Notably, the TFS1 test was not affected by exercise volume or TDCS intervention. This may be due to the TFSLF test being binaural, involving binaural integration, indicating that motor and onodal TDCS intervention targeting the C4 area may play a more significant role in the binaural integration stage of TFS. Our experiments demonstrate that in a hearing normal population, TFS sensitivity can be enhanced through onodal TDCS targeting the motor cortex. Additionally, we found that physical exercise influences brain plasticity, thereby augmenting TFS sensitivity. These findings pave the way for novel research directions in auditory neuroscience, specifically concerning the exploration and application of TDCS and physical exercise to enhance TFS processing capacity. The observed synergy between physical activity and TDCS in improving auditory abilities presents exciting opportunities for non-invasive cognitive and sensory enhancement strategies. However, considerable uncertainty remains regarding the fundamental mechanisms underlying the enhancement of auditory cognitive abilities by TDCS and physical exercise, such as the brain regions targeted by TDCS, the intensity and duration of stimulation, as well as the intensity, frequency, and type of physical exercise. Thank you for your attention. I welcome any questions or feedback.